guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I DIY my coffee bar behind me slash snack table. Stay tuned and I'll go over the details. Okay, so here is a quick snapshot of what the coffee bar looks like and the chairs and the bar stools. So let's go over what you're going to need. So you're going to need some Rust-Oleum paint, whatever colors you want, but I did use a um, apple red and also the metallic ultra cover um, for the actual coffee bar and then the bar stools I use the red and I use the metallic as well um, if you want to throw in black you definitely can um, you're going to need a sander and you're going to need some primer and of course a paintbrush of your choosing um, you can also use a sandpaper if you like um, but I like to use the electric sander Okay, so here is a close-up of the coffee table. Um, here I just have some decorative boxes. Um, here's the Keurig. Um, I have um, a jar just full of snacks. Um, and then just some faux flowers here. This coffee mug I actually had since I've been in college. My mom bought it for me. I don't even know where she got it from. Um, but, so about the table. So the table is... Um, I used metallic paint for the table. I did have to prime it. I did not have to sand it because the table was like a butcher block table um, in its original form. The bar stools, I did purchase um, at Goodwill and I repurposed these. So the bar stools um, before were black. And then here I used some Rust-Oleum um, oil-based paint and it really, really looks really, really nice. And the top, I use the exact um, metallic paint that I use for the top of the bar. Um, and the bar, the breakfast bar was $7.99 from um, a Goodwill that I had went to a while ago. Um, like I said, I can just show you like the top of the bar stool. Um, and I just did this with a paintbrush um, and like I said, the metallic paint that I really, really liked. And it came out really, really nicely. So this is the look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hope it will inspire you to see if you see like a high table at your Goodwill. Um, you'll pick it up and maybe it'll inspire you to do your own coffee bar. Um, and see what you can find and then this is just like the measurements of the table so the table is not too um wide it's actually the perfect size for this space in my kitchen i absolutely love it and then what i'll probably be using these for um is put in like the keurig um pouches in them just because i mean i might as well make use of the boxes right now the keurig is in my pantry which is here um so that's why I keep all the Keurig stuff because I don't like for it to just be out. Um, I like for the table to look as clean as it possibly can. So in the morning, we just get, if we want coffee or tea, we just grab it and then grab snacks and then we're out the door. So here is one last look at everything and how everything kind of plays on to each other. Um, I just kind of went with the silver theme since I already had this coffee mug and I know exactly where I wanted to put it. So here is the before shots of me priming the coffee table. Sorry, I didn't get very good photos of this. This was a project that I did um, maybe two years ago when we first brought the house. Um, so these are the best pictures that I have, but I absolutely still wanted to show this piece. So here are the bar stools before. They were black and um, like a wood tone and then this is just me showing you guys how I started to paint it I did not prime these which I probably should have um, but I didn't and it still came out fine um, so here is some more pictures of the um, coffee table this is without the snack jar um, just because I wanted to look a, a little bit cleaner on here but we absolutely have the snack bar on there because we cannot live without our snacks so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um, I hope to see you guys next Wednesday